The immense Sahara Desert is the second largest in the world. Originating in deserts, it is common that yellow clouds of sand are whisked up and carried all over the world. Prevailing northerly winds carry the sand clouds thousands of miles, sometimes reaching over the Alps and falling on countries in northern Europe. Sand from far-off places has a decisive influence on our weather and can alter long-term climates all over the world. Warm desert air currents and wind sweep the sandy dust up into the atmosphere. The sand forms gigantic dust carpets, some the size of Spain. Drifting off the west coast of Africa, some sandstorms journey across the Atlantic Ocean towards the Caribbean and Brazil. Some of the sand ends up falling on the Amazon rainforest. Surprisingly, the sand provides the flora with a valuable nutrient-rich shower. The sand contains minerals vital to the forest's ecosystem, such as calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. Since the forest floor does not provide many of these elements, many mosses and different types of orchids have evolved rootless, growing high in the trees. They extract nutrients from the air around them. The Saharan sands that travel the world help the forest survive through this regular fertilization. However, traveling sands are not always helpful. A regular sandstorm that begins in spring in the deserts of Mongolia often pesters the residents of Beijing. Sometimes over 300,000 tons of sand rains down. The problem seems to be getting worse, and large portions of the countryside are succumbing to the desert sands. Intense farming methods and clear felling of trees for industrialization have contributed to the decline. China loses about 2,500 square kilometers every year to desertification. China is not the only country facing the problems of desertification. Strong winds that whip up sand and dust particles have been intensifying all over the world. More sand is finding its way into the atmosphere than ever before. Researchers fear that the production of dust from the world's arid regions has increased 33%. Water molecules attach themselves to this mineral dust, aiding cloud formation.